Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge Circle. Today we will see a Java program where we will input a number from user and we will display the reverse of the number using the recursive technique. We'll see a Java program and at the end of this program I will explain the working of the recursive technique with the dry run. So let's begin the program. First of all, we'll create a class. After the creation of class, we'll double click on the class. Now the code window is open. Now we'll begin it with the very first statement, import java.util.scanner so that we can take input from user. Now then class, the name of the class is capital R. The scope of the class begins. See here I will define a method to reverse and whose return type is int and it is statically declared so that no object is required. And you can see the argument, two arguments are there. The first, the number which is to be reversed and the second argument is the uh, r where the reverse will be stored see the first condition if the number is 0 r will be returned simple then else what we will write in else we will calculate the value of r so r is initially will be 0 when it is called so r multiply 10 plus num modulus 10 num modulus 10 means the unit digit will be uh, extracted and the value of r will be initialized now what to be returned is that re return reverse we will call the method again this is what recursion is and when we call the method again what we will pass the number will be divided by 10 so that the unit digit will be removed and the current value of r will be passed so these two arguments will be passed and in this way the method will be able to calculate the reverse value of the pass number so this is what recursion technique okay and uh, will create main function inside main function body will create the object of scanner class to take input from user after the creation of the object will give a message enter a number and the number given by the user from keyboard will be stored in the variable n now it's time to call the method okay so we will call the method directly in the printing statement system.out.println since it is a static method so no object is required we'll write here reverse of reverse of what the number okay so we'll use concatenation we'll give a space here and then concatenation number n again we will write here concatenation then equal sign and then after we will have what concatenation again and we'll call the method and what is the name of the method reverse so we'll write here reverse the number n the first number which is to be reverse and second argument will be passed as zero now we'll uh, close the main close the class we'll click on compile button okay now let's click on compile button class compiled no syntax error so now we'll close this code window right click on the class and click on void main okay now the object of the class is created we'll click on void main enter a number so let's enter five four five three nine reverse of the number is nine three five four we'll see a dry run of the code okay how does the, this method work suppose we have called this method with the initial value like reverse we have called it reverse 65 and 0 okay 65 and 0 we have called then how does it work so when first it is called the value of num will be 65 and r will be 0 okay now condition will be checked condition is num is equal to 0 number is 65 which is not equal to 0 condition is false so the control will go to else block in else block the r will be calculated the value of r which is initially 0 and into 10 plus num modulus 10. So num is what? 65. So 0 plus 5, 65 modulus 10, it will remainder will give 5. So r becomes 5 and then what is returned? So returned is what? Reverse. Reverse is returned what? Number 65 divided by 10. When 65 divided by 10 and 5 is passed, actually what happens? Uh, only 6 will be passed. It will be something like this reverse 6 comma 5 now the num value is 5 and r value is sorry num value is what 6 and r value is 5 6 is equal to 0 condition is false it will go to else block the value of r will be recalculated which is which was previously 5 now it is 5 into 10 plus num modulus 10 6 modulus 10 6 so 5 10 are 50 and 6 modulus 10 means it will return 6 because the first operand is lesser than the second operand so 6 will be returned now the new value of r is 56 okay now reverse is uh, again called because it is recursion 
so reverse has been called in its body itself now when you divide number the number is what the value of num is 6 6 divided by 10 6 divided by 10 will be called uh, the value will be given and then what is r r is 56 so 56 is passed so actually what happens when uh, 6 divided by 10 then it becomes 0 since it is integer it will become 0 and this is what 0 and 56 so what happens that when it is recalled the value of num is 0 and what will be returned the current value of r will be returned and the current value of r is 56 so finally this method uh, the recursion will be stopped and the value will be r r will be returned so you can see that initially it was uh, 65 and the reverse of the number is 56 so we have done a reverse of the number using recursive technique